niches versus sub niches. I posted a couple of videos talking around niches for artist makers and some very interesting discussions have happened in the comments. Mainly, most of us as artists and makers don't really understand what a niche is or a sub niche or why we even need them in our business. In marketing terms, we are taught and I put taught in inverted commas because what we're taught and what happens in practice isn't always the same thing. But we're taught that in order to market ourselves successfully, i.e. hope to sell our products, that we need to niche down. So we need to pigeonhole ourselves into a little small area, thinking about the customers who we are targeting in order to sell our products. Now, in some respects, I agree with this, but here's what I don't agree with. As artists and makers, we approach our business very differently to commercial product-based businesses. And I know this, because I have been an artist maker business for the past 30 years and I've done multiple trainings and courses around sales and marketing and I always felt that I didn't really fit in with what was being taught. And the reason for that is that I realised that that was because I was an artist. I think this is a very important discussion to start having. First of all, as an artist, we are an entity in ourselves. We are our own niche. You might have heard me talk about you are your brand. As an artist maker, you are the brand yourself. The same thing happens around you are your niche because whatever discipline you have chosen is your main niche. I am a jeweler. That is my niche. But then we have sub niches within that. And one of our sub niches is the type of work we produce because that categorizes us slightly differently to another artist. As a jeweler, I make modern contemporary jewelry. I also make luxury jewelry out of gold, platinum, gemstones, pearls. I'm inspired by things like architecture, geometry, nature. Describing those things gives me a sub niche within my niche of jewelry. Also, my own style, what my jewellery looks like, how I create as an artist maker, that also categorises me within another sub niche because the way I make something is totally different to another jeweller who, who makes. And then thirdly, we have the niche of our customer. Who is the customer that we're trying to attract? Who is going to be attracted to my work? That is also a niche in itself, but it's a sub niche of our main niche. So the main niche is ourselves as the artist. I know this might be a really sort of difficult subject to get a handle or a grip on. Let's chat about it in the comments.